everyone knows that I love Zillow. I love going on Zillow. I like scrolling through all of the houses and I like judging everybody. Welcome to James Edition. James Edition is basically rich people Craigslist. It's the world's luxury marketplace. You've got real estate. You've got cars, yachts, jets. You can buy a jet. Through, <laughs> through this, through this website. So we are going to be perusing today, James Edition, seeing what they have. Let's start with something that I need personally for myself, for my business, for my loved ones. Private jet. Here we go. Let's look at the PJs, baby. Plane types. Oh, I don't know what any of these mean. I'd like to think. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think that this saying P-O-R, they're not putting the price because they're they're looking at my IP and they're calling me poor. They're like, yeah, you've done well for yourself, but uh, fucking not private jet well, you poor fuck. Low time off market 2014 G280. Best deal out there. 2014. That's a 10 year old jet. I'm just saying. Price on request, price on request, price on request. I want to see how much it costs. Lowest price first. A measly $2.7 million for this jet. Can I see the inside? Show, show me the 10 pictures. Ooh, Iowa. I love Iowa. Oh, man. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. There's only four seats. I'm going to pay $3 million because there's taxes. I'm going to pay $3 million and there's only four seats, my guy. And then it's going to cost me a hundred grand every trip for fucking fuel. And there's not even a place for somebody to walk down with my little snacks. This is bullshit. Give me the $18 million 2010 Legacy 650. It only has one picture. Never mind. Four pictures. Here we go. Why does this look like a weird Mr. Beast thumbnail for some reason? What about this middle one? This is a middle, middle of the road, $7 million jet. Hmm? What about this? Ah, a little more seating. One, two, three, four, five, six seats. Okay. I kind of want a couch though. Now this is nice. Now this is, look at all the leg room. This is like a comfort plus seat on Delta. Are you kidding me? Look at this. And there's a little couch. There's a little couch back here. Uh, this one looks kind of ugly. This one's kind of uggo. It is there. Why? <laughs> why, did the, why did the pilot like cockpit seats have like shag carpet on them? This is ugly. This is ugly. I don't want this. This is ugly. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I like the I like the carpet. I like the gold accent. Mm. I like the little tiny plane that they got right here. Remind me what I'm sitting in. We've got the plane, but we need land, air, and sea. Mm, let's do cars next. Let's see what we've got. Mm, Bugassi. I, a bra bus? The hell is bra bus? This is not boobs. We're gonna see. If they have my dream car in here, it's the Audi R8 5.2 liter V10. It has to be a manual. This is promising. It's 135. It's steeper price because the manuals are more rare. This is also an automatic. Fuck my ass. If anybody wants to send me a manual transmission. <gasps> this one's a manual transmission. This one's a manual, but it's the 4.2 liter. It's a V8. It's not the... It's not the V10. I want the V10, but this is almost there because it's a manual transmission. If anybody wants to send me a uh, 2015 Audi R8 V10 manual transmission, um, let me know. Slide in my DMs. Thank you. This is a $9.8 million car. A sweet 10 mil for a car. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. We got the fucking JFK top, uh, drop top right here. I almost said the JFK crop top. <laughs> Well, if you think about it, after, after the, it was, he did kind of have a crop top. <laughs> Can I say that? Okay, let's see what they have in the Honda section. All right, now, this is a little bit more my speed. <laughs> <laughs> Going from Lamborghinis to the Honda CRV. Okay. <laughs> so they do. <gasps> Guys, we found it. We've found it. Are you kidding? Come on, James Edition. Now this, I would say, is a rare find. I kind of like this guy. How do I get this guy? I buy it, I guess is how I get it. I would, 
I would buy it. Only 31,000 miles, less than the Honda Fit, and it's a 1972. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's from the movie Cars. <laughs> I like this guy. Whoa. He's got a little rolly, guys. This is a cool car. Oh, man, you could roll back these miles. Wait. Did I read this wrong? This says 311,000 miles. Ah. No, I didn't read it wrong. Am I being bamboozled? 31,165 miles. But if we go here... This says 311,669 almost. They're trying to bamboozle me with their rarely seen model 598cc two-cylinder four-speed manual. <gasps> it's a manual. It's a nifty, simple interior. I would also say it looks like a fun car. A Zimmer? What is a Zimmer? A Zimmer. Dude. This is like a weird Cruella de Vil looking ass car this thing's sick look at that whoa this thing's so cool what it's got a ford engine it's got a it's a it's a five liter damn that thing's cool look at the little horns up front it goes uh-huh 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 fucking Cruella de Vil car. Are you kidding me? There's Dalmatian skins in the trunk. Do you have to pay extra for the guy on the dashboard? I wonder if you do have to pay extra to get that little guy. I mean, he's he's in the photos. All right. We've conquered air. We've conquered land. We must conquer the sea. Boats are so expensive. Let's sort by highest. <gasps> They don't even say that I'm poor. They just give me the price. $95 million to get this ugly ass piece of shit. This thing's ugly looking. Why does it look like a fridge? You've got a pool in the thing, in the fucking, in the thing, but you're in the water. You've got the waterfall to fall into the water, which is on the water. Okay, the hot tub's kind of sick actually. That's kind of cool. I don't have this many friends to be able to sit on this boat. Let's look at a boat that I think actually looks cool and nice. Hmm. It's all, it looks like battleship boat. Okay, this one's not bad. A cool $28 million. It's a 2026. That's two years future. What the fuck? Okay, it's still kind of ugly looking. Okay, this is nice. It's, it's gray. Wow. It's insane that people buy these. Like, that's... That's fucking nuts, dude. Imagine having 30 million dollars to spend on... ever. <laughs> but... <laughs> but, like, you could just spend 30 million dollars on this, and then you've got crazy more monies, because... You have this boat and then seven houses. This looks like the same boat as the other one, but it's almost half the price. What's up with it? Oh, no pool. Wait, no, wait, hold on. That's two pools. These are all 3D renders though. These aren't actual, these aren't actual photos of this boat. Does this boat actually exist? It's three layers. So this boat is like currently being made. This looks very different than the pictures. <laughs> what if this is just how it came? Big ass, empty ass thing. Big ol' sheet of metal. It's crazy that boats can float. This thing probably weighs so much money. <laughs> I mean, it does weigh so much money. It weighs 58 or 48 million money. Let's do lowest. What's the what's the lowest that we can go? It's all price and request. It's all price and what are these? Sub blue navbo? <laughs> Be that guy. I could be that little guy in the water. You know what's cheaper than having a boat, guys? Let me let me explain to everybody watching. The best and cheapest way to get a boat and the most low effort way. Get a friend with a boat. Then you don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to fuel it. You don't have to get it prepped to go out on the water. You just call up your friend and you say, hey, I want to go out on the boat tomorrow. And then they go, huh, yeah, all right, I'll get it ready. And that's it. That's all you got to do. You get a friend with a boat. It's so much better. Conquered land, conquered air, conquered sea. Now we need to conquer the real estate market. 
highest price first. Let's do this cheap piece of shit in Colombia for $225 million. Oh, <laughs> pocket change. $225 million. I get cows with this. What? <laughs> what? I want more pictures of the house. Virtual tour. <gasps> oh, baby. Whoa. This is the, whoa. This is the front door. This is a weird, weird place. They've got a cool movie room. These, I think, are ugly. This feels like a weird restaurant. This doesn't feel like you're inside of a home. This feels like you're in some sort of weird club or something. Oh, this is actually kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. This is the garage, but I think that this would be, this would be, such a nice home gym. Are you kidding me? This would be sick, honestly. A sick home gym. Because you get all the light from the garage doors. That's pretty cool, actually. I won't lie. It's pretty cool. This space feels odd. Like... What's this area? You get a little pool table here, which... It feels like it's in the way of this walking space. It feels odd. And then you have this thing. It's weird. And then, what is this? It is what I thought it is. Guys, do you know what that is? It's three TVs. Why? For whom and what and why? Okay, let's go uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Stupid art. <laughs> okay. Is this the the main room? <gasps> Dog. What's this? Upstairs kitchen for some reason. Why? I don't know. I don't know why you would want an upstairs kitchen. This house is so long and weird. It's so long. Like, like... You know, what is this? I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, there's like a pool up here also in a hot tub and like a little putting green. Okay, interesting. That's kind of cool, I guess. I want to see what we've got in collectibles. Like this horse head. <laughs> this is seven million dollars. <laughs> what is it? <this? sighs> It's so ugly! What is this? No, did he pay? We are willing to trade our sculpture with acceptable real estate. Imagine trading this for a house. <laughs> Carved from the side of the mountain in Bahia by Brazilian based artist Florinaldo Souza de dos Santos. Value increases 10% a year. How can you be sure? You can't guarantee that. I might also be interested in this for $3 million. Dude, fuck the houses. It's a 31 million US dollar Blackberry. It's a Blackberry. 18 photos of this Blackberry. You can get a Blackberry for $31 million. Whomst? is doing this. Only 25 exquisite examples were produced, each originally sold at $25,000, only to exclusive uh, clientele worldwide. So carefully selected, so it was only specifically given. $25,000 pen, cool. Yeah, that's a good investment. Okay, I do wanna go to watches, and I wanna see what the most expensive watch is on here. <laughs> It's not even cool looking. Ah, it's kind of cool looking, I guess. It's all right. Two and a half mil cool? I'd say like 2.3 million. I'd pay 2.3, but not 2.5. 2.5 still just, you know. I don't know. I think that they're trying to upcharge with the 2.5. 2.3, though, I think would be a good deal. USD 1.8. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of a steal. For this, 1.8. I'd pay two and a half for this. The other one? This two and a half? No. This two and a half? Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, 
This was James Edition. If you'd like me to come on James Edition again sometime, look at some more collect collectibles, more jewelry. We could search helicopters next time. I know that we didn't look at the helicopters and I'm sorry about that. Let me know what you thought about James Edition. Uh, leave a like if you'd like to. I'm not gonna force you to leave a like, but if you wanna leave a like, you can leave a like. I'm also streaming on Twitch right now, um, which is weird. Chat is saying bye YouTube. Um, so I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday now over on Twitch. So if you want to go there, you can. So, so there. That's going to do it for the video. Justin, end the video by crushing me with the giant Blackberry. Thank you. Goodbye and good night.